in trial of gnomes once you've completed all these portals. So what you would need to be done is you would need to do the yellow gnome portal and then you have to end up fighting the yellow boss and it's same for the blue one, the red and the green. And then you have to end up fighting the rainbow boss, which is obviously the hardest one because it's the last one, it's the biggest portal out of all these. But yeah, from that aside, like you got to do just all of them, honestly. Like they're all like different, so it's not very easy. The boss fights at the end, what you want to do, once you finish, I'll show you. So like once you finished, you're in the room, you finished, okay? What you need to do, it, uh, I can't go there because, yeah, I've already done it all. And what will pop up, it will pop up like with just all like this. Just take a picture and it pops up with something like this. But it would all be, it would all have symbols, not only some. So take a picture of each one. Then what you want to do, I'm not an expert of this. So I suggest going onto a guide and they will tell you how to put in the code because I find it really complicated on how you put in the code. I just don't really know how to. So you have to put them all together once you've done all of them. So once you've done all of them, what you know is, and you've put in the code for the rainbow boss, the rainbow gnome, you just want to fight him. Once you've fought him all together, you'll need 150 rainbow stars. I've already used all mine up for this. And what you can do is you can unlock these two chests. Once you have 150 stars, because we're 75 each to unlock. There's little padlocks on them, so look. It's like you can see there's all padlocks around there, and there's a lot more than that. And for this one, what you could get is you could get a hover goat variant. You could get a surfer, which I personally don't really like, because it has like just the hair of it. I don't really like the hairstyle. Uh, you could get also the reindeer one, like just a reindeer one, it has lights, has antlers. I really wanted it, but I couldn't get it, because it's completely random, like I said. And there's also a Latin one, which I will show you right here, what the Latin one looks like. And also, what you want to do once you've bought it, I'll show you this, you want to go into Customize. So, it would be the left button, uh, and I'm like, going to show you. Like right there, left button for controller. Since I'm on Xbox, it's X. But for anyone else, uh, like P PS4 controllers, it's just the left button right there. You want to click it. You want to go on to appearance. And then you'll see, look, it will have whatever you got from it. And right there, I got Wishmaker. I personally don't really like him. I He's like probably the worst one you can get. Because with the other good ones, you can't really get a bad one. They're all necessarily good, to be honest. You can't really get like, just, yeah, they're all good. And there's Torchwood, right here. Now what you can get of this, all I am saying for the Torchwood, Man, I am sorry if you get, like, the girl one or whatever it is. It's like, I think it, it has, like, all makeup. It's like a fairy one. It has wings at the back. It's very ugly. Um, There's two good ones out of a torchwood one. There's a, yeah, there's a gingerbread house one. Uh, like, toxic kind of one, which... Is my personal favourite and I actually luckily got it. And there's that ugly one that I told you about. And let me just tell you, it is ugly as hell. Like, really ugly. I don't have it. But you can go, as I said, just go on the garden and it'll probably show you. So, yeah, as I told you before, it's like X here. So, look, like left button. Go on with the torchwood once you've got your style. Go on to appearance. And this is the one I've got, Tree X 1000 that's the name of it. It's kind of like a toxic one, and I'll showcase them. So I'll start off showcasing with the uh, Torchwood. 
Now, as you can see, he has these like bubbles kind of coming out of the top of him. And once you smoldering madness, I just got out of here. So you can probably get some better lighting or something. You can see the smoldering madness. I'll use it so it's his Y ability. So Xbox, that is Y, that top one right there. For PS4, just be the top one. Oh, and also PS5. Sorry, I forgot the PS5 is out. So yeah. And what you do is when you use it, look, more bubbles come out of here. And you can see a lot more. And it also does a lot more damage. And also the, these two green lights uh, light up here. And I just realised it also kind of looks like a mouth. I don't know if it's supposed to be a mouth. But yeah, it just looks like a mouth right there. It's also got the fire ability. That one is really good for close-up range. And this leaf one, which... I don't really use it because it's pretty bad. I don't even know what it really does, to be honest. All I know is it's bad. And then what you also have now, I will showcase. Well, I'll have a go. And then at the end, I'll tell you if it's worth it or not, and I'll go through some reasons. So, yes. This is the normal have a go. It's more futuristic. But then I'll show you. That's more futuristic. Looking the normal one. Just, yeah, futuristic. And then the Latin one. That one, it's more, it's called like the Latin movie. There was a Latin movie which was coming out as they were like designing this. So they made it a Latin one. They're like, hey, why don't we make it a Latin one? To be honest, in my opinion, it kind of looks a bit ugly. I've already went over that. And there's a paint can right there in his foot. And yeah, he has like a little Latin hat. So for the zombie team, uh, yeah, this event. So for the zombie team, would it be like worth it to spend the 75 stars for this guy, Wushmaker? I would say yes. It would be worth it because you could get a surf one, which a lot of people like. I personally don't like it, though, because that ratio means for not liking it. Uh, you could also get my personal favourite one, which I really wanted but didn't get, unfortunately, because it's random. Um, it's the Rudolph one. It has, like, a little red nose, antlers, the reindeer one. And, yeah, the surf one, obviously. And then with the Torchwood one, that is... More, it's up to you if you want to get it. Like, I would say it is worth getting it. Because even if you do get the ugly fairy one, at the end of the day, it's still a whole different tortured style. Even though it looks ugly, to be honest. So, yeah. And at the, lastly, at the end, this is where the room is. We have to put in your code. So, what you do, let's say, like, what you have to do, you have to also start from the top of your code. So, you got to... I've got to say, this is my code I'm putting it in right now. This will end up having that on the top, the lawnmower. I would like literally put in whatever I want, and I'll end up having the lawnmower on the top. See? So you want to start from the top of your code for this. So make sure once you've done the portals, the portals which I'll show you right over here, Portals. Well, that flung me. Oh, I accidentally went back in. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Alright. That's like the green one. That's the easiest, in my personal opinion. You want to be imp for that, I'm pretty sure. It's for parkour one. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it's the imp one, though. And for the final known boss, right? The rainbow one. I just use the shrimp imp. Which is called the shrimp. It's like, you just put the SH and the rimp from shrimp. That's, yeah. So, like, from imp as well. Yeah, I just use that. What you want to do, you want to, like, get the most time out of using the normal version of the imp. So, what I had to end up doing is, in this room right here, I had to use the imp, the shrimp one. When he uses the lasers, the rainbow one, or 
basically any of them when they're kind of trying to shoot at you. Hide behind these pillars. That's an advantage you have. And the bomb ones, when they get close to you, they blow up. Um, so I just recommend using an imp one. Uh, you could use many different ones. Even the vampire sunflower, well, that would be the best one, in my opinion, of what I recommend. Because it regenerates health um, when you shoot, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, yeah. So I just recommend using that. What I had to do for imp one of a shrimp imp, I had to, I just hit behind me, start shooting him, try and get the most headshots as you can. And then once I got the most headshots I could, and I was really low health, I became a shrimp robot. And then I just start shooting him in my head. And then when you get really low, you want to self-destruct and try and shoot him in my head lastly. If you want to choose the imp. So that's going to be my video for today. This was longer than I thought. Usually my videos are hopefully going to be around 8 to 10 minutes. I might even have some quick ones usually. Um, and yeah, that's my first video. So see so you guys. Thank you for watching all the way to the end if you did. And have an amazing day.